It's yet another worker strike that has grounded operations in public hospitals across the country, one which, according to nurses, could have been avoided had the Council of Governors expedited the signing of a collective bargaining agreement that was agreed on last year. On Tuesday, the governors declared that the matter had degenerated into an industrial dispute, the council referring the matter to the Labour Ministry for resolution. And on Wednesday, efforts to resolve the dispute began, with Labour officials meeting the two sides. We don't have any dispute with the COG. The COG or the government has a dispute with themselves. They should clear in-house, then come out with our CBA, we sign and register. Whatever they will agree, that has to go to the SRC for it to receive a letter of no objection, for it to be called a CBA. So basically what I'm trying to say, the way we see it from the ministry, there are issues. But even as the process took off, the Council of Governors instructed the 47 county governments to take action against 25,000 striking workers the council terming the strike illegal as no notice was served. How will a strike be called in the middle of negotiation? Because negotiations haven't been completed. Let every county government take whatever action within the law to make sure that service delivery, essential service delivery, and this and health is the most essential service delivery. At the center of the stalemate is a claim by the nurses union that COG is sitting on an agreed collective bargaining agreement that would cost the taxpayer 28 billion shillings over a period of four years. But COG maintains that the figure at hand is 40 billion shillings, which is not tenable according to the Salaries and Remuneration Commission. That they have negotiated, agreed and concluded the CBA ready for signing and even in the words of the COG itself which is basically unsustainable, bearing in mind that there are other health workers and other sectors delivering services at the county. So essentially, we had no CBA. The process of negotiation was going because you still wanted a, a no objection letter. With the two sides standing their ground, there was little progress Wednesday. Council of Governors officials now expected to meet representatives of the nurses' union tomorrow as the government struggles to bring the two sides to the negotiation table. Some get to TV. Nairobi.